the theme that we are taking up for discussion is environmental law so as you can see this is one area that where in the last few years you've had questions maybe one or two questions per year but what has happened is over the time the complexity of the questions have increased like instead of just asking about a very casual question as it this is related to which law they go into the provisions of the law and this is what you will see as a trend in most of the questions that we are discussing under this theme so without much delay let's go into the first question which was asked in 2023 in 2023 the question rela was related to something called as your community reserve the question reads as consider the following statements once the central government notifies an area as a community reserve the chief wildlife warden of the state becomes the governing authority of such state of such forest hunting is not allowed in such area people of such area are allowed to collect non timber forest produce and people of such area are allowed traditional agricultural practices the difficulty of this question comes from the fact that they've asked four important provisions as much as they've also ventured into which of these or you know they they they've not asked if statement 1 is correct statement 2 is correct that's not what they want to know they just need to know in total how many statements are correct that increases the complexity of this kind of a question so now when you look at it this is where you need to have a background information to solve this question even if you do not have a background information the only statement you can assume is correct is the second statement because see you are creating all of these protected areas to prevent the poaching and prevent the um you know killing of animals in any way so you are having conservation as your primary aim so obviously hunting is not allowed in such area that is a correct statement now when you are looking into the other statements over here the third statement which reads that people of such area are allowed to collect non timber forest produce this is one very marked uh, feature of your community reserve why because you have two kinds of reserves which is your community reserve and your conservation reserves now when it comes to a conservation reserve it is a much more restricted protected area you do not have a large number of activities but when it comes to a community reserve it acknowledges the fact that there are living communities in nearby and obviously if there are living communities they need to have a livelihood so this statement people of such area allowed to collect non timber forest produce that is also correct so now we know yeah uh, when you ask how many statements are correct in it there are two statements which are already correct in it you can eliminate this now it depends on if and obviously now the rest of the statements you have to figure out if it's correct or wrong now comes the important part see when it comes to conservation and community reserves they are formed under your wildlife protection act of 1972 it's a protected area that's formed under your wildlife protection act of 1972 now in the wildlife protection act section 36d regarding community reserves what is mentioned is that for each community reserve the state government of each state they will create they will constitute a body called as community reserve management committee the community reserve management committee is the apex body when it comes to the management of a community reserve not the chief wildlife warden so here this statement is wrong okay now coming to the fourth statement this is a important thing to understand when it comes to a community reserve i told you there are living communities over there but the entire idea is not it's to have a balance between living communities and the ecosystem over there the forest or whatever if there are traditional agriculture practices now when we say traditional agriculture practices they are primarily looking at some kind of a practice called as your jhum cultivation jhum cultivation means that you are going to cut off the trees over there burn it and then create a land for your agriculture do you think logically when it comes to a um, an area created for conservation that kind of activity will be possible no so here this statement is also wrong the answer to this question is only two only two statements are correct in this specific question
Moving on, here is another question from 2023. The question reads as, consider the following statements. In India, the biodiversity management committees are key to the realization of the objectives of the Nagoya Protocol. The biodiversity management committees have important functions in determining access and benefit sharing including the power to levy collection fees on the access of biological resources within its jurisdiction. Now, look at it. It's not a just casual question. It's not a, about the act. Now, which is the act related to this? In India, we have an act called as your Biological Diversity Act. Okay, the Biological Diversity Act creates three different bodies. It's a three-tier body at the center, state and the local level. At the center, you have something called as a National Biodiversity Authority. At the state, you have a state biodiversity board. And at the local level, you have a biodiversity management committee. And this question is primarily about that third level, which happens at the local stage got it. So, now when you read it over here, the entire idea about the Biological Diversity Act was to put a provision or put, there was an international protocol called as your Nagoya Protocol, which was created by your Convention of Biological Diversity. The Nagoya Protocol primarily looks at whenever any kind of local resources are used, and any benefits coming out of it, be it economic, social, whatever the benefits coming out of it, it has to be shared with the local population. This is what this protocol tries to look into. And when you look at this particular thing over here, this act, your Biological Diversity Act itself was created in India to put the provisions of Nagoya into a national space. Because see, Nagoya is an international treaty. You cannot use that international treaty in the Indian jurisdiction. So, what happens is India created its own act, which is your Biological Diversity Act. And in the Biological Diversity Act, you have three tires and the question is about this. So, which means what? The first statement is correct. The second statement says the Biodiversity Management Committees have important functions in share, uh, determining access and benefit sharing, including the power to levy collection fees. This is very important to understand because the most crucial level of conservation of any kind of natural resources, it happens at the local level. BMC is one committee that has been given exceptional power to even collect any kind of, if a foreigner is coming and trying to extract some local resources, they will have a collection fee at that point. So, both of these statements are correct. The answer to this question is C, both 1 and 